some sand fleas, see if we can find some more bait. So what I do first is I look to see if I can find a colony. And what, when we're looking for a colony of sand fleas, we're looking for their antennas. They stick up under, from underneath the sand. And you'll see like a little patch of, of sand where water's disturbed. So as the waves come in, as they start going out, we're looking across the sand and we're looking at the reflection of the sun on the wet sand. And that's where you're gonna see, it's easier when we have this like bigger wave that just came in. Then as that comes out, we'll look for, I don't know if I see any colony. The birds will tell us too. If, if we don't have a colony, what I usually do is look for where the, the waves kind of cross, like right here, they kind of cross each other. There's a good spot here where they're crossing. And I'll wait till the waves come up and as they're going back out, I'll drag this back the other way. So, whew. Kind of behind me or in front of me. And as I'm walking, sometimes the sand fleas will jump up out of the way if I'm disturbing their peace. Oh, there's one. Yeah, we got one. So that's, oh my they God. call them a mole crab. We call them sand fleas. We've got, usually I'm picking them off one at a time. I got cough drops in my pocket. Now I have sand fleas and I do. <laughs> For now, I don't want to walk all the way back just to, just to get rid of the sand flea. Oh, there's another one. It's usually a one by one is how I'm getting them this time of year. But they feel our, our vibrations of our footsteps, so we have to be careful not to like run. Woo! I don't want to run right up to where I saw them. Let's see, I'll wait for a big wave. I haven't, I haven't really seen a colony yet. I'm just looking for potential spots. Oh, I got at least one in here. I had one. Pretty good. There he is. <laughs> so he's trying to get through the, the holes in the rake. The birds can also be a good indicator of where the sand fleas are. So like there's a bird down there. If there was a bunch of them packing a lot, if the waves were coming in and out, then I would go, oh, okay, there they are. And they will usually be closer down to the, to the surf too. I got a couple that time. Another way you can get them out of the rake is to just come up where the... And grab them? Yeah. I'll do that when I have a whole bunch and I don't want all the shells. 